there's no doubt that Germany is an integral part of the tour. Three huge tournaments, including the Deutsche Bank SAP Open, which is reaching its concluding stages. Up on the 18th, Justin Rose, chip and a putt required for a 65, and it wouldn't have taken much more for the Englishman to achieve that 64. Harrington, again from the middle of the fairway. Approach to the 13th. Looking very confident. Sharing the lead. And as Rose on 18 taps this one in for a round of 65, the prospects look good this year. Well, many a shootout with uh, Casey and Rose and maybe McDowell. Things very bright for the European Tour, with all the young guns now beginning to come through, full of confidence. Thomas Bjorn at the 17th. And just about reaching two. Par five. And that's been high. Chance to squeeze ahead. Fine iron approach on the 13th for Harrington. Really has been very consistent all week with the iron play. Another birdie opportunity here. He hasn't held too much at the weekend. 30 putts in the third round. Only had three single putts so far in the final round, but he's still out in front. Goosen, the par 3 14th, putt for birdie and the putt to share the lead. Well, that's more like it. What a finish we're going to get. And that is third two today. Have to make it a full set with a two on 16. This is Bjorn on the 17th. That shows you the amount of movement uh, on these greens. They look relatively flat, but there are one or two undulations there, which make uh, reading the greens always a little tricky. You can see Bjorn taps that in and takes the lead. This is Graham McDowell on the 14th. Not much has happened for him. 15 under, four behind. Three birdies, two bogeys going out, so bogeys really that have hampered his progress today and he's had quite a few uh, clubs to play into the greens which not been at his full yardage so always having to take a bit off the shot or add a bit on and that makes things difficult for the player. Now a test for Harrington. For the first time today he doesn't lead. Flat out seven iron for Harrington, just a little six for McDowell. Both have chances for twos. Tee shot the last for Thomas Bjorn. 468 yards, par four, dog leg right to left. And that is just perfect. On this par four on the course, and Thomas is one of the rare breed that really enjoys these moments when he's in contention. Loves it, and very much up for the battle. Now Goosen at the 15th. Down slope, a little bit of wind behind him. He's got the body in quite quickly on that. Left the hands behind. And I think left that spectator behind uh, with a very sore head. I hope uh, they're okay. It's been a fortunate bounce for the South African. That may well help him. Back at the par three. Harrington for birdie. Oh. 
only a par. He remains one behind, 18 under. But he has the two par fives to come. Up ahead on the 16th, Nicholas Fast. No holes in one on this hole yet, so the VW up for grabs. Has been a hole in one this week on the seventh by Raymond Russell. McDowell for Birdie. He's got to make these. Yeah. One of his fourth start as a professional last season in Scandinavia, but nothing going for him at the moment as Casey has an eight-footer for birdie, and that too misses. Still five top tens, three top fives for Casey. It's been a wonderful season for him, but it might be a better one for Bjorn if he can get this medium iron close to the hole on 18. Flag cut over on the right, just trying to slide it in a little from left to right. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. That is a wonderful shot under the pressure from Thomas Bjorn. Can you believe it? It'll have that for a 62. Goosen, third at the 15th. Looks to be lying pretty well. Skips on through. Pretty well, the same shot that Thomas Bjorn faced. Nicholas Fast. He's got to have a bit of a storming finish the way he started if he's going to uh, feature at the end in this tournament. Birdie putt on 16, always low. <coughs> Sometimes when you get off to such a cracking start, you almost scare yourself. And really nothing much has happened for him since then. Thomas Bjorn then for a 62. Oh. What it equals his low round on tour. 63, and he's going to set the target at 19 under. And by the way, he was shaking his head. I think he hit a good putt on the line that he wanted. I don't think he could believe it could turn as much as it did. But that is a splendid round of golf from Thomas Bjorn. And a lucrative run around the turn. Not a blemish. So essential that Goosen finds a birdie somewhere. It's not a 15. Here's the 18 under. Two mighty blows for Darren Clark to reach the 17th. Eagle attempt. Three two so far in the round for Retief Goosen. Can he get the full set? Make it four with a two here on sixteen. I think he can. Harrington on the par five, fifteenth, second shot. Turn over. Turn. 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 Asking it, imploring it to turn. And that's pretty good. A putt for Eagle, and he would leapfrog Thomas Bjorn. Casey on the 18th. Improbable birdie. Hold a putt of this length. Probably one of the poorest greens on the course. Oh, that's a terrific effort. And the ground staff here have really uh, worked tirelessly to get these greens in pretty good order. And they've done an excellent job as uh, Casey taps in for his part. 
67. Goosen to go 19 under and share the lead. This is for a two. Well, he can't believe it. Opportunity gone for him, but a real opportunity for Harrington. Eagle chance, not a great deal of break here. We'll move from right to left. And he set that on the low side and it stayed there, so perhaps a misread for Audric. Goosen for his par at 16. is 10th in the world, having a pretty good battle with the man who's 9th in the world, Harrington, trying to chase the Dane. Birdie putt at 15. Yeah. And in, and we have a tie at the top. For Harrington, three holes to play, 19 under. And of course, Thomas Bjorn has set the target, 63, 19 under. We're going down the stretch, and so are they.